Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a look on this dragoness type look inspired by Ellie35X again. She's honestly the queen of face paint. So what I'm starting out with is just mapping out where I want these uh, like scratches to go. Um, later on I'm going to fill them in so you can see like flesh. So what I'm doing is coating the body in green face paint and going up against the dark green and kind of mixing them together to create a shadow kind of thing. Uh, it didn't really work at first, but it, I made it work in the end. To get into the, like, the little areas where I couldn't use my big fluffy brush, I use a smaller brush um, with that same light green color. So now using that same little brush, I'm going up all the way into where I put the dark green and mixing the dark green and the light green together. And once I fill everything in, it's going to make it look like um, a lot like deeper and the sh like a shadow effect around where the flesh area is. Now I'm creating the flesh and uh, I made the flesh purple. I'm using this dark purple to fill in all those areas that haven't been filled in yet. Also, before I forget, I just want to thank Olivia for helping me out and sitting there for two hours. Um, yeah, thanks! Thanks so much, Liv! Next, I'm going to be putting teeth and because there was green underneath where I was putting the white on top, the teeth did turn a little bit green, but that was fine. I went over it later once it dried. For the lips, I'm using the dark green shade that I used from the very beginning and putting that on her top lip. And then I'm going to be using white on her bottom lip. Um, because it's white, I did have to go over it a couple times, but I waited to the end to do that. Now, my favorite bit of every SFX type look, highlighting. What I'm going to do is get white face paint and really work it into the purple right in the middle and I'm going to use my finger to kind of dab it into the purple so it mixes with the purple a little bit so it turns into more of a light purple than a uh, very opaque white. Oh my god, how many times did I just say purple? I love this step at the end, it's going to make it look so three dimensional. Now what I'm doing is getting black face paint on a small, like really detailed brush and outlining all the purple areas. I'm extending like the end out a bit to make it look more kind of realistic. Once I add the shading, it will look so, so good by the way. So yeah. I'm also outlining like the teeth and um, yeah, no, that's it. I just outlined the teeth. Uh, just FYI, I was following the reference picture and I tried to draw these little rocks slash scales on her shoulder and it didn't really work out, so don't make fun of me. I tried to fix it, but it kind of looked good in the end. Now what I'm doing is getting black eyeshadow. This is Corrupt by Makeup Geek and I'm just filling in all the outside areas in black. I tried to t save it, like I tried to save the scales. Uh, tried. Now I'm doing the exact same step as before um, for the shading. And I'm also going to be doing around the teeth to make the teeth look a little bit more three-dimensional. And I'm going to be doing it under her lip as well to make her lip look a little bit bigger, even though they're already big. <laughs> For the eyes, I'm using the same dark green face paint, but the paint is dry, so I haven't activated it with water yet. Then I'm getting black and putting that underneath, but so you can still see the undertone of the green. And then I'm going to be contouring... Uh, her throat, her collarbones, her nose, and just kind of carve that out to give the face paint a little bit more dimension so it doesn't look like face paint. Now using white face paint, I'm going to be going around all the purple areas and giving it more dimension by highlighting the outside and making it look more 3D. And once I'm done highlighting all those areas, you will be finished and that's the end of the video. Thanks guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next Halloween tutorial. See ya!